the stitch vertical bubbles because that's what they look like. See, they're like three dimensional. Very, very nice. So, this is a multiple of six plus three plus two stitches for the edges. That means six times four is 24, plus three is 27, plus two is 29. So let's do this. I'm using the needles that the yarn calls for. This is a worsted weight yarn and I'm using size 8 US needles which is 5 millimeters. So let's do this. Row number 1. You're going to knit 1 and then slip 3 stitches row wise. So 1, 2, 3. So knit 3 one, two, three, and slip three. One, two, three. Knit three. And slip three. One, two, three. Knit three. One, two, three. And slip three. One, two, three. Knit three. One, two, and slip three. One, two, three. And the last stitch, which is the edge one, you knit. So row number two, you purl the edge stitch and then pass three. One, two, three. And purl three. One, two, Slip three and purl three. Slip three and purl three. Slip three. Whoops. And purl three. Slip three and purl the last stitch. Row number three, you're going to knit one stitch and then yarn over and take these two stitches, pass them together, knit wise, knit the next stitch and these two that you passed the two of them together pass them over the last one and yarn over now knit three one two three again yarn over pass these two stitches together knit wise knit the next stitch and pass the two together over the last stitch and yarn over. Knit three, one, two, three. Yarn over, pass these two stitches together knit wise, knit the next stitch and these two that you passed over, you pass them over the last stitch and yarn over. Knit three, one, two, three. Yarn over. Pass these two stitches knit wise. Knit the next one and the two that you passed go over the last stitch and yarn over. Knit three, one, two, three. Yarn over, pass these two stitches together knit wise, knit one stitch, pass these two stitches over the last one, yarn over, and knit the last stitch. Now, row number four, you're going to purl the whole row.
There we go. And I'll see you when I finish this one. Okay, so row number five. We are going to knit the first stitch and then knit three and slip three. One, two, three. Knit three and slip three. Knit three because we want them alternated so we're doing the three that we didn't do last time we're doing it this time so slip three and and with knit three and knit the last one row number six you purl one and purl three slip three one two three purl three and slip three purl three And slip three, pro three, and slip three, pro three, and pro the last one. Row number seven, knit one stitch, that first one. And then knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, pass these two stitches knitwise together, knit the next stitch, pass the two stitches that you passed over the last one, and yarn over. Knit three, one, two, Three, yarn over, pass two stitches knit wise together, knit another one, and pass the two stitches together over the last one. Now let's do that again. Yeah, yarn over and knit three. One, two, three. Yarn over, pass two stitches knit wise, knit one, and pass these two stitches over. Yarn over, knit three, yarn over, pass these two stitches knit wise, knit the last one, and pass them over the last stitch, yarn over and knit the last three and the edge one. And then row number eight, you purl the whole row. And that's it, that's all to, there is to this stitch. You repeat those two, those eight uh, rows for your pattern. And this is very nice, like for the top of a little girl's dress because it likes smocking and uh, maybe a handbag would look very pretty with this or a baby blanket a baby blanket would really look cute so thank you for watching share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and I'll see you next time that looks